that's just not a risk I'm willing to take. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share my favorite setting powders with you guys. When it comes to setting powders, I am very picky, I'm very particular. I like what I like and I don't like anything else, okay? Like, setting powder could either make or break a makeup look and that's just not a risk I'm willing to take, okay? So, in today's video, I'm so excited to share them with you guys. My favorites. It's a very select few out of my collection of like 30 plus powders. And yeah, these are my little babies that I absolutely love. So, let's get right into the video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click subscribe down below. Join the family. Hit the notification bell. Hit the like button. You know what to do. So, yeah, let's get into it. The first powder I have to mention is my Dermal Blend Powder. And I love this powder so much. If you guys have seen any of my videos in the past mm, six months, you've definitely seen me talk about this powder because I love it. It's definitely underrated. Like, no one really talks about this powder, but girl, it's amazing, okay? The formula is beautiful. The finish and the color is just perfect for my skin tone. If you're looking for something that, and you, if you're around my, if you're anywhere around my skin tone and you're looking for a setting powder that's gonna complement your skin tone and really highlight your under eye and not be super brightening and just like, whoa, like this is perfect. Like it's the perfect balance of gently brightening but still looking natural. So yeah, this is my first favorite. This also comes in a white um, color, but I do love this one in warm saffron better just because for my skin tone, it's perfect. So yeah, definitely do not sleep on Dermal Blend. Go check it out. It is sold at Ulta, so whenever Ulta has their 20% of coupons or their sales or whatever, you can get this for a discounted price, so. Don't sleep on her, girl. Next, I wanted to mention my Fenty Beauty powder. And the shade that I have in Fenty Beauty is Cashew. Well, I actually have three shades in this powder, but Cashew is my favorite shade. It is a beautiful shade. A few of you guys actually recommended this shade to me, and when I got it, I fell in love with it. It's the perfect shade for my skin tone, I feel like, when it comes to the Fenty powders. The other shades are either, like, too yellow or too warm they're just not it when it comes to my preference this one is beautiful the powder in the fancy formula the formula of the fancy powder is a little not thicker but it's not as finely milled as the other powders i'm going to show you guys it's a little thicker or a little bigger <laughs> of a drop of powder i don't know how to say that it's it's a little heavier when it comes to the powder formula but i still love it and i definitely love this color so and i also like the smell of the fancy powder it has a little like baby powdery smell to it which i actually like so yeah that's my second favorite my next favorite is from huda beauty huda beauty is a beautiful powder like the fancy powder she does have about six shades i believe to choose from when it comes to this powder i love the formula and i love that she has more shades to choose from the formula is very similar to the dermal blend um, formula in terms of how fine the powder is um i do think huda beauty is a little bit more mattifying than the dermal blend powder though i wouldn't say dermal blend is a very matte powder it's not dewy it's a powder it's like um, natural I guess in terms of finish but this one is a little bit more in the mattifying side I would say I do love them both uh, Huda Beauty does have a slight scent to it and also it's a little bit more yellow this is the shade Kunafa it's more on the yellow side compared to the Dermal Blend powder which is um, let me show you guys and this is the Dermal Blend as you can tell Dermal Blend is definitely a little bit deeper and it's not as yellow huda beauty does have a shade that is more similar to this one which i think will be very very comparable to the zimmer blend powder just because the formulas are so similar they just lay so beautifully under your eyes or your entire face really like they're just beautiful powders uh huda beauty does have a scent it is like fragrance a, a strong perfume scent so if you're not into that you may not like it but the scent doesn't last like all day like it goes away 
after a few hours or even quicker but um just keep that in mind if you're not into scents next i had to of course mention laura mercier this is definitely one of my favorite setting powders ever i use this powder almost every day just because if i'm not using if i'm not using this powder under my eye in a lighter shade i'm using it for my entire face in the medium brown shade the medium deep shade in this powder is definitely my favorite medium deep setting powder the color is perfect and i love the formula of this powder it does have more of a mattifying effect which i personally love because i have oily combo skin so i do love that aspect of the powder the formula is also really really pretty it's a beautiful finish and it just looks really perfect on your skin so i feel like everyone or most people have tried this powder and they do love it so um yeah not not much to say about it besides it's really good and it's not really like an over in my opinion it's not overrated at all it's really good and this is the reason why people love it she also did recently launch a more yellow shade if you're looking for something more golden it's not as deep as these other powders but if you want it to be a little chef in the kitchen you could mix it up with the brown powder if you already have it and create your own little shade i think i'm gonna do that when i do my makeup next time just to see what effect like what shade i can come up with by mixing the two colors together so yeah that's my next powder and so last but certainly not least is the Krylon powder now this is like a professional makeup line and i'm not even sure where you can get this powder i ordered it online from this website called camera ready cosmetics when it comes to getting this in store i think you have to go to one of those professional makeup stores but this powder is beautiful this is the powder that i like to wear when i'm wearing makeup that i want to last forever like it lasts so long it makes your makeup last so long it's crazy i don't know what is in here but whatever is in here makes your makeup last so long the powder itself is so fine like it's literally like flour like actual flour it's so so fine and the color this is the color that i have is perfect for my skin tone and it's like a beautiful beige shade. This is called, um, crap, what's the shade in this one? I'm gonna put some of this powder on because I literally haven't used it in such a while and I wanna remind myself of how beautiful it is. Like, it's so good. So I'm not sure what shade this is in because it doesn't say on the container. It's a Krylon Anti-Shine Face and Body Powder. And when I tell you this is anti-shine and this is last all day, like this is it. This is a powder that is used for stage makeup. So you know it has lasting power and it's beautiful. The formula is perfection. Like I love the formula on this. It's a beautiful, fine powder. It just looks makes your skin look so perfect when you put it on like and it's a powder that i reach for whenever i'm going to an event and i want my makeup to last all day i'm definitely reaching for this powder sometimes i even take it with me to control my shine and yeah i i love it okay so this is my last but certainly not least set in powder that i love i know this was such a short list and none of these are drugstore when it comes to setting powder, you guys, I feel like the drugstore is still lacking for deeper skin tones. Um, there are brands that have shades for deeper skin tones, but they're just not my favorite formula. And I haven't found one that I can say I truly, truly love, like, the way I love these powders. I think there are a couple foundation powders that I like, but they're not set in powders, they're foundation powders, which is different. It's not the same. These are set in powders here, not foundation powders. Anyways, that is it for the video. I feel like I was a little rambly. It's 1.53 in the morning and I need to go to work in a few hours, okay? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.